Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sound of a Gap, and this is the Plucky Squire. Welcome to a new indie game and story on my channel. And this one seems to be very intriguing. As you guys know, I am a sucker for unique gameplays and new ways to present a game and a story. And this one's actually quite nice. And before we get started, we're gonna take a look at the description actually of this game because I don't know much. I just have seen the trailer and the trailer was already intriguing enough that I thought, hey, I need to play this. This is very colorful and um, yeah could be quite nice. So, the Plucky Squire follows the magical adventures of Jot and his friends, storybook characters who discover a three-dimensional world outside the pages of their book. When the malevolent Humgrump realizes he's the villain of the book, destined to lose his battle against the forces of good for all eternity, he kicks the heroic Jot out of its pages and changes the story forever. Yeah, so we will live in a 2D, or play in a 2D and 3D world, so to say, inside of a book and then outside as well. And this sounds pretty cool and I can't wait to get started. Actually, I don't want to say much more about it. As we can see, like I said, it's quite colorful. Might be a little bit childish here and there. I don't know. We'll see and we'll find out together. And if you guys want to decide on the next game is coming, take a look at my Patreon page. The link is in the description below. As soon as you are a patron, you get a bunch of perks. One of them is, for example, having your names in the game and yeah, deciding on the next games, which I will play for you guys. There are still so many more I would like to play. All right then, without further ado, let's just get right into it. I'm gonna take a look at the options as always, and then, yeah, let's get started and go through this adventure together. To be honest, I already like this one. Yeah, you can actually just click on it and just look at the, at the hand. <laughs> it's a thumbs up. And this, I just want to show you this accessibility. You can put on a jump assist, show hidden portals, disable falling platforms invincibility even and one hit kill so that you kill the enemies with one hit yeah very nice if it gets too tough you could still change it up very nice oh, i love the music already it's so positive yeah <laughs> all right then oh and at the top there is a mouse which is saying something watch the credits set up options and view controls and let's get rolling <laughs> i like that already right it was time to begin an adventure yeah let's do that right here right now here we go and so far i haven't changed any difficulty because you couldn't so far just the accessibility options and that's it ah there we go okay so we have adventure mode and story mode adventure mode if you are feeling lucky and you want a challenge this mode is for you story mode a breezy way to play, relax, and enjoy the story of the Plucky Squire. I do want to enjoy the story, but then again, I do like a little bit of a challenge, sure. So, we're gonna go with adventure mode. Sam's room. The Plucky Squire by Arthur? Once upon a time, there was a plucky squire named Jot. We have a narrator. Nice. <laughs> Jot lived in the land of Mojo. A Mojo? land of creativity. <laughs> but you gotta have Mojo, baby. <laughs> Mojo was ruled by the gentle queen, Chroma. Uh-huh. He defended the land from the nefarious sorcerer, Humgrum. Which everyone very much appreciated. Good lad! Well done! Cracking! Cracking! <laughs> Jot was also a writer, and would transcribe his many adventures in book form. These tales were avidly read by all the people of the land, who found them quite gripping. Jot awoke one fine morning, and pluckily leapt from his bed. From afar, he could hear some rather exciting music. He got dressed and went to investigate. Chapter 1 Some Serious Beeswax <laughs> Okay. 
Oh yeah, this is quite colorful. And this is us. And actually, we can start getting moving. Let's see. Yeah, this is how we move. Right stick, nothing yet. Jump with X. Roll with circle, okay. Square is hitting. Triangle does nothing. No, the others don't do anything yet. I think this will come at some point. The music was really booming. <laughs> yeah, you can hear it. <laughs> Quite nice. Okay, then. Uh, yeah, let's get started. Actually, wait. Options, okay. Oh, you can skip mini games as well. Okay, and you can change the options in between and quit out. Sure. All right, then. Oh, and in the top right, I think this is the health bar, the heart. And the other one, I don't know. Maybe you can collect some light bulbs and they can give us hints. This is what I could guess, but maybe it's just a collectible of light bulbs that you can acquire in between. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> the house is dancing. <laughs> oh, funny. This is a house of the good wizard Moonbeard, John's close friend and mentor. <laughs> this is so funny. Ah, jot my lad. He exclaimed. <laughs> I'm on a roll here, traveling to new musical realms. Since you're here, lad, I have a small favor to ask. Wax. I need more wax, lad. To press more records, you know. <laughs> Would you go to Honey Peak and get some wax from Benny B? Pip here will accompany you. Ah, the mouse. Nice. Ah, alright. Now we can uh, read ourselves. A mini quest. Wooha! You take care of the goblins and I'll haul the wax back here for you. Alright, so we have to defeat some goblins. Oh yeah, there will be goblins. No sweat for you though, right, Jot? Ah, we'll see, we'll see. The entrance to the woods beckoned. Right then. Oh, frog, hello. Oh, can't do anything. Can I go back inside? <laughs> a DJ wizard. <laughs> this is so cool. Are you hearing this, lad? I reckon it could be a scooch louder. <laughs> All aboard the moon, po the moon beard express. Destination Dance City. Oh, this is funny. Okay, he's saying the same thing again. All right, now we know. We just have to talk to them once, and then that's fine. Can we do something with the carrot? No. Can we hit it? No. Oh! Oh, combo. There we go. Okay. Three hit combo. On we go. All right, what is this? Read. Ah, triangle. Yeah, yeah. Hit the, co hit the goblins with square. Sure. Okay. Ooh! Ooh, ooh, wait, go back, go back. We can, are there any other things we can destroy? I didn't even try. That's a good idea, actually. Maybe if there's in something like a secret somewhere, but no, <laughs> the underwear. Ooh, the trees, hit the trees. Or maybe this is like currency. This could be as well. But it looks like not every tree has a light bulb. Okay, on we go. Oh, though, wait a second. Again, I haven't been in the house yet. I have to go there once again, just to see. Right, but there's no running. This is the speed that we walk. Okay, okay. Anything else in here? No, nothing else. Okay, okay, so let's go on and slay some goblins. Well, actually, I'm, I think I'm going to turn up the music a little bit. I turned it down quite a bit because I thought it might be too loud, but I think this might be better just going for a little bit louder music in the background. Sure. Yeah, I think that's, that's nice. Okay, so let's hit the trees and the bushes, find some goblins and then kill them all. Goblins ambled ahead. Mm-hmm. What does this say? Yeah, 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 true roll. We know this. Okay, three hits. Looks like it. That's all we need. 
Uh, looks like there's a way to go up. I'm gonna go there in just a bit. Yeah, you can destroy those barrels as well. Let's go this way. Ah, there's a gate. The gate swung open for the plucky squire. Uh, is this the way to go? I thought the other way. Wait a second. Let me just read the... The sign over there. To Tome Tower. Let's go this way. Jot, that's not the way to Honey Peak. Ah, okay, okay. So I was going the right way. Right away. <laughs> cool. There we go. Honey Peak. Oh, that's the land of Mojo. We are down there. Oh, this looks like Super Mario Land in a way. Can I take a look around before we move there? No. Okay, we're gonna go on right away. Coolio. X to jump. Sure. The plucky squire leapt nimbly onwards. Can't hit this new. The mouse is gone? Okay. <gasps> now this looked really quite precarious. Uh, have you seen the glue up there? I think it's it said Bondzilla. <laughs> Judd took a deep breath. Okay. And off he left. This will break, right? Okay, just to see how much time we have. And it comes back. Interesting. Alright. Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit like Super Mario. <laughs> Goblin. Mm-hmm. Let him go away. Sure. And then hit him. Oh! Just once this time. Okay. Oh! You can extend your, your jump if you if you're if you're hitting in a way. It looked like it. Or can I double jump? No. Hmm. Okay, okay. Ah, the top of Honey Peak. The view is incredible. Now that right there is a massive owl. That's Tome Tower, that is. Okay, and I've seen some enemies to the right, a big guy. Yeah, this is a wolf, right? Or something? Whoa, that's a honey badger, eating Benny Bee's honey. Oh, a honey badger. Be on your toes, Jot. A hungry honey badger can be really cranky. Um. Oh heck, here we go. Boss battle, first one. The honey badger seemed rather annoyed. Jot Whoa. prepared for a dust up. Okay, okay. How does this. How? Wait, this is like the boxing game. He's not doing a, isn't doing anything. I'm just gonna keep. Oh! Oh, okay, then I have to go that way. Okay, okay. Ow! Switch it up. <laughs> oh, oh! This is funny. <laughs> this is really like the boxing game. Awesome. Powerful puncher. The beast was bested. Yeah. The plucky squire triumphant. Ah, back at the hive. Feels good. Yo, many thanks, Jot. You did me a solid. That honey badger was really messing with my beeswax. Anyhow, gang, what brings you here? Moonbeard sent us, Benny. He could really do with some of that beeswax if you have some spare. For sure, Pip, my man. I owe you guys. Here you go. Compliments to the Wiz. 
Huh? What's going on? What's with all this ominous darkness? Yikes. Okay. Down they fell. Oof. <laughs> it was time to confer with Moonbeard. Yep, it's some grumble, all right. Always up to treacherous trickery, that one. There's something rather odd about the magic he used. And this is not usually how the story goes, you know? That is to say, um... Forget about that. Harum! <laughs> this is a job for the Plucky Squire, Jot. Humgrump is at the Tome Tower. Head there and make sure that creepy little twerp doesn't cause any more bother. Hello? Oh, it's a girl! Hello? Who's she? It was Violet. Ah, fitting. Mm -hmm. Violet was a trainee witch with a love of art. And Jot's childhood friend. Hey Jot, we've got another humgrum situation, huh? Moonbeard gave me the skinny. That weaselly wizard is at Tome Tower. You kids head over there and Jot put a stop to humgrum's malarkey. I'll look into that strange green magic and have a donut, but that's by the by. <laughs> what? <laughs> Later. Uh, goodbye and good luck. Although you never really need it, Judd. Well, I think I might just still need some luck. No lie, I'm pumped that I'm going to get to see the Blacky Squire in action. Kapow! Lead the way, Judd. Coolio, we have a new teammate. Um, can we somehow... There is no... Is there a... Like a menu for... No, so we can't... Maybe we, can't, maybe we can't even level up or switch the gear or something. Like I said, I don't know what those are for yet. At some point, I think we will find out. Jot felt an urgent need to get going to Tome Tower. Ah, okay. No detours anymore. So let's go to Tome Tower. And so the Plucky Squire set off to Tome Tower. Yeah. Oh! Oh! For 40 I got something. The Joy of Art. Or maybe I found it just because I hit the tree? I don't know. You got a new piece of artwork. Press square to show in gallery. Okay, so let's see how many there are. Take a look and enjoy the art. So it's four in a column. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 12 times 4, 48, 50. So 50 different. Okay. And then we can take a look. Concept area mountains. Some early concepting of game environments. This would eventually become the green lands in the early chapters of the game. Aha. Uh -huh. So either if we collect more of those light bulbs, we will get this. Or this was just because this was the spot to get it anyways. I don't know. We'll see. But we got it at, I think it at 40 light bulbs. So maybe the next one will be at 80. So every 40. We'll figure this out. A spring in his step, a gleam in his plucky eye. Rolling is actually quicker than walking, it looks like it. Mm -hmm. The gate swung open or something, right? What the? Yeah, yeah, we need to fight. Ah, oh, there's the... Ah, <laughs> Pick up the gate. Uh, put it there. Oh, wait, put it there. No. There we go. So yeah, we do have some puzzles as well. Okay, I think we need to defeat them all. Ow, I got hit. First time. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. You get portion of life back if you get a light bulb as well? I don't know. It looked like it. it was too quick. So, let's take the open as well. Can we roll? No, we can't. This is beautiful. This is really cool. This is a nice mechanic. 
never seen that before. Nice! You always have a way with words, Jot. <laughs> I love it. Wait, is... Ah, I want to go to the water, I forgot. Martina. Greetings, brave warriors. My name's Martina, nice to meet you. You adventurers... You adventurers cut down fearsome enemies and ice slash ices. Let me show you what I have for sale. Oh! Oh, okay. Um... Can get both already. I can collect more if I want to. Actually, I think I might just do that. As soon as I find her again and she has something new to sell, I might just grind for those light bulbs. So, sword throw badge. Throw your sword to attack enemies or retrieve goodies from a distance. Sounds very useful. Jack got the sword throw badge. Nice. Press R2 to throw your sword and again to retrieve it. Okay. Test this move? Sure. This looks like a football field. Well now, time to practice throwing your sword, Jot. Aha. Uh -huh. But I only, I only press R2 that goes away and it comes back on its own. I don't even press R2 again to retrieve it. It just happens. But I'll take it. Yeah. Good going. If you want to keep training, check out the board. Otherwise, leave via the exit at the bottom of this page. Just want to take a look left and right first. Nothing we can do with this. Nothing with that. Can't talk to you. Ah, yeah. Okay. No, no. We don't need to do this again. Anything else to the right? Okay. Then let's leave. Ah, uh, we weren't done yet. It was lovely to make your acquaintance. Be sure to check in again. Next time we meet, I'll have new stock. You keep saving the land from bad business, and my business will save you from bad deals. So long, brave warriors. Well, if it isn't the brave warriors with a sharp eye for good deals, I've got some new stuff in. Take a look. Well, the one we still missed. A collectible art scroll that can't be found in the lands of Mojo. Ah, the others are really just found, so it's not because of the light bulbs. Okay. Sure, I want this. Give me that. You got a new piece of artwork. Yeah, yeah, let's take a look. Concept boxing minigame. We knew we wanted to feature a boxing minigame, but it took a while to land on exactly who your opponent would be. As it turns out, it wouldn't be a giant muscular duck. <laughs> that could have been funny as well. View full screen. Ah, okay. Very nice. Nothing left to buy. Let's go to the water. I want to see if I can do something with the water. I can't swim. Okay. Oh! Interesting. That's cool. Huh, and then you can retrieve it with R2. Okay, okay, nice. I don't even know how to save yet. Wait, can we save it in between? No, so I think there will be like, um, checkpoints in a way? Or is there, wait, options? No, no, okay. Stay away, birdie. It looks like it's always three hits. I don't even know if the light bulbs will go away, but let me just collect them as quickly as possible so that they don't, yeah, vanish. Uh, who's this up there? Can I talk to you? Cute little glitch bird. We found a lost glitch bird. Aha. Uh -huh. It will return to its homeland. Okay, we don't know what this means yet. We'll see soon, hopefully. I wasn't, I wasn't, I wanted to go to the, to the, to the marker. Well, there it is, that mysterious ancient owl. Ah, oh, the knowledge of Mojo is supposed to be stored in there, you know? Whoa! Not sure the ground should be doing this. <laughs> Yikes. Another deep fall. Oh, I like the voice and accent of the narrator. 